is our defending No Prep King champion. Because you're so good at what you do, there is now a bounty on Ryan Martin's head. Oh, what? Yeah, I know, what you think about is? I feel like I just got an extra target on my back. Yeah, you got about 30, 31 targets on your back, to be honest with you, sir. Ryan, good morning. Morning, Jeff, how are you? I'm doing great. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am such a fan of this show. I'm so excited about the new season. And uh, tell us where you are today. It looks pretty uh, picturesque where you are right now. Yeah, we're in, uh, we're in Norwalk, Ohio at Summit Motorsports Park. Uh, we're on our, oh, let's see, I think this is our 13th event of the season. Uh, we have, including this race, we have four left. Um, and we're about to start racing here probably somewhere around 5 o'clock. So uh, everybody's just kind of getting ready and getting set up and everything right now. Great. Well, we have a new season, new machines, new faces. What can fans expect this season? You know, uh, I'm coming off of a, of a uh, double championship win. So basically, I won the last two seasons of the championship. Um, this season, we're trying to pull off a third win, which will be a three-peat for us, which, you know, is history for No Prep Kings. And, and a lot of this show is about everybody just chasing, you know. Um, right now, it's about me trying to maintain that lead uh, and, and people trying to knock me off the throne. That's what it comes down to. And what's your strategy to keep your winning streak alive? It's tough. You know, we like to try to just be prepared. You know, we take one round at a time, uh, you know, in, in an invitational race on Saturday, there's five rounds. Uh, we take, you know, one round at a time. We just try to go through the opponents, depending on who we draw uh, strategically and, and, and make good, you know, decisions for the racetrack, for the opponents, and just take it one race at a time. You know, this, this sport's pretty serious. I hear you have a bounty on your head, like 50 grand. Uh, yeah, it's not quite 50, but we do have a bounty. So basically the way the bounty works is in first round, if you draw me, it's 2000 bucks and it goes up $2,000 accordingly. So if I make it to the finals, that bounty is $10,000, uh, you know, on top of whatever the invitational is, which is 40,000 and which that comes up to 50 grand. And if I win it though, and nobody knocks me out, then I get 10,000 bucks. So yeah, it's a very, yeah, it's very serious, and it really gives people an incentive to try to do whatever they can to make sure that I don't get that third championship. And you have like 15 events this season. What are some of the locations? Because you just travel the country, don't you? All over. We go from east to west. You know, we've been to Boise, Idaho. We've been to Virginia Motorsports Park. We're in Ohio today. We're going to be in Texas for the season finale. Literally, we're all over the country, and that's what's great about MPK is the fans – if you're a fan in the United States and, and, and Canada as well and things like that, you can, you can find a race that's pretty close to you no matter what. Uh, if, you, if you look at that schedule with 15 races on the schedule, you're going to find somewhere that's close to you. And what kind of influence has the show had on the sport? Have you seen many changes in the sport since the show started? And I know we have new fans, but also new competitors. Oh, yeah, huge influence. I mean, I, I solely, you know, as far as the Street Outlaws franchise, I believe that it is responsible for the flood of people coming to watch drag racing and in, in different sanctioning events and different shows and things like that. It's brought everything to a new level. Um, Street Outlaws has springboarded that to where I think there was a little bit of a lull and it's pushed everybody's awareness back to drag racing. And I just said this the other day to somebody, I really feel like Street Outlaws has, has made drag racing cool again. Well, you know, Ryan, Las Vegas has a drag strip, too. You going to bring the show here someday? They do. That's been talked about several times. So, and I've been to that racetrack myself, and it's very nice, and I hope we end up there at one point. We'd love to have you and love to have the show, man. Thank you so much for joining this morning. Good luck with the new season on Discovery and Discovery Plus. Let's talk again soon, buddy. Thank you, and thanks for being a fan.